The Phil Taylor Power 95 Generation 10 barrels have hit the market as a part of the Target 2023 launch. I'll be doing an in-depth review of the soft tip and steel tip variations. I cannot believe it's already been 10 years and I further can't believe that Target keeps delivering on these barrels, but we do see new ideas from them, new CNC milling, and the market always responds favorably. So let's go to a close up of the barrels and then I'll shoot both the soft tip and the steel tip Phil Taylor G10s for you guys. The steel tip and the soft tip versions are nearly identical, except for the nose profile, of course. Staying on par with the previous two years, Target did some milling at the bottom of the shaft for added grip and a seamless look. So keep in mind that this section is not actually a part of the barrel, it's the shaft. Okay, starting in the back half, we see a sort of caged milling in this section, very subtle. I love this feel as a person with soft, dry hands. Then in the front half, we have some milling leading up to center bands with that interrupted ring cut. You've got small axial cuts there as well for better grip reference points. Baby micro grooves past that before we taper into the diamond Swiss point. This tapered section is the most unique in my opinion of the entire barrel. It looks like an elongated tooth or a prong. Uh, there's definitely some grip there. It's a really nice place to rest your hand in the front. Overall, we give this barrel a grip intensity of two out of five. To summarize, the G10s are that classic Phil Taylor bomber shape with new design in the rear, definitely new milling in the front half. We're back to the diamond Swiss point following last year's nano Swiss point, and the entire barrel is coated with black PVD for performance, and then it's sandblasted for a unique texture. I'll be throwing both the soft tip and the steel tip barrels now, and then we'll end the video with a summary of my thoughts on how they perform. Okay, we're shooting the 18 gram soft tip set first. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh, super high. Now I've swapped out the flights and shafts for the K-Flex system. And I know it's blasphemy to remove the beautifully milled Phil Taylor shaft and flight, but I really want to practice with the K-Flex system before I review it. Ooh, just missed. The bomber shape is always such a tough one for me to get used to, but once I'm in that zone, it's such a nice change because all you have to do is just let the dart fall back and carry its weight forward. You just fall back, direct it forward. Back, direct it forward. It's just a little bit different than those straight light barrels. I feel like when you shoot a straight, long, or really lightweight barrel, your follow through has to be impeccable. Uh, but these bomber shapes are always fun to throw. So let's try like a 100 checkout. Wow, that's twice in a row. All right, this is the Steel Tip Generation 10 Phil Taylor darts. I'm shooting the 22 gram barrels. Just needed a practice round to kind of adjust here with the weight bump. I absolutely love the texture of these darts. The diamond Swiss points are definitely doing their job. They grip the board very well. It takes a little extra oomph to get them out. Ooh. Gosh, they were really sticking there. I just love the sandblasting feel. I almost wish I gripped in the rear just because I, I am obsessed with that texture. I love the sandblasted uh, black PVD coating, but I hold right into the milling. Do some 19s. Oh gosh, let's adjust here. It's better. Let's do 19s one more time. I just want to redeem myself. Honestly, it's hard to throw and talk at the same time. Oop, wrong direction. Still piling in. There we go. Obviously not better, but makes me feel better. 
All right, let's finish off with a 121 checkout. I'll try hard to fix my left deviation. Single 20. Ooh, single 17 back to 20. Single 57 scored. 64 remaining. No, we're close. Double 16. Ooh, good correction. All right, some final thoughts on the Power 95 G10s. Look, Phil tailored darts just work for me. Um, the G10s are no exception. It's a sexy, clean looking dart. Um, shape of the barrel, I think mostly attracts front grippers only, but even I, as a rear gripper, have no problem moving their grip profile down towards the front. Um, it's actually quite a nice hold feeling for me. It just works. I love that matte feel, that sandblasted feel and smooth grip. Will they make me a 16 time world champion? No. Are they designed with high precision and have detailed grip throughout and 95% tungsten and perfectly weighted? Yes, I'm always gonna be a fan of Power 9.5s. That concludes our in-depth review of the Phil Taylor Power 9.5 Generation 10 barrels. You can purchase these darts on our website, a2zdarts.com. Just look for the links in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and the rest of the Target 2023 launch. Thanks for watching.